Hi guys, welcome back to Tech Doctor. It's me Salahuddin. As usual, today I'm with a tutorial to help graphic designers. Most graphic designers are working in Illustrator software. They must be encountered this problem. First of all, we can understand what the problem is. In my computer, I'm using Adobe Illustrator 6.5 version in which I'm taking a new window and uh, put some sample text in it. I'm converting it into outlines and then save as PDF format. In my case, I have already created PDF so I just replace it. In the option save as PDF, then open that file in any software that support PDF. I'm using Google Chrome because in Google Chrome the problem is very visible. You can see when I zoom out the L is thickened. In some cases the I also be thickened if you are using the capital letter. So we can understand what the problem is. For L we have only four nodes that's the problem. If you are using I capital letter it will be also thickened. We can solve it by adding an additional node for that. So we have total 5 nodes for L. Now we can save the document and refresh the window in Google Chrome. Now you see the L is solved. Now we can go for another solution. Just use text and keep it as text. Do not convert to outlines. Now refresh the window. Now you can see the problem is solved. But this has a demerit that because if you're using the PDF document in another computer that doesn't have your font, it will be converted to another font. Now we have another solution that we can change the font. Now I'm using Mediart Pro as my font. So because it has only four nodes for I. But if I'm using Calibri, you see we have a curved structure in the both ends of I or L. So the problem will never be occurred. You see the Calibri is working fine. There is no problem if you convert your text. So this is the best solution I refer you and we can go to another solution. This is a little bit risky so I will explain to see it. Just put a background layer and convert the foreground text and put what color as you wish. Then bring the background uh, the foreground layer into background. Now we can cut the shape of the text from the background layer by using the pathfinder. Now we have made a hollow layer. Now we can put another background layer with a color and bring that to behind the foreground layer. This is a little bit complex and easy for the graphic designers. Now we can change the color as you wish. Now we can check the output of this edition. Just go to Google Chrome and refresh the window. Now there is no problem for L. This also be a good fine method if you are must to use such fonts. We can go to another method. Just save your document as EPS or any other format other than PDF. Then open for a show. Here we are using the document, we are converting the document into an image. So there will not be any problem, but this will affect when you are going to offset and it will affect the printing quality. But you can solve the problem of thickened IRL. In the Photoshop, I just use, uh, place it or you can open the window directly into any window. If you are a designer, you will be very well knowing of it. And I just 
put another name for that and save that as PDF. Now I am opening that new file in Google Chrome. Now you see there is no problem for L and I. It is very fine. But in this method, please just be sure to use a correct resolution for your file. Otherwise, your printing output will be very low. Thanks for watching. Subscribe us for more tips. Thank you.